Let's give this girl a sad expression on her face. First, I want to cover up her current expression. So I'm going to press the letter C on my keyboard to bring up a circle. And then I'm going to change the color to match her skin tone. And I'm going to use that to cover up her mouth and her eyebrows. Now I'm going to search for a shape that I can use for her eyebrows. And I want something kind of similar to her original eyebrows, which are very small and thick. This one looks pretty good. I'm going to change the color to match her current eyebrow color. And I'm just going to resize it and then I'll crop one of the eyebrows out. Now I'm just going to rotate it so that I can make it look sad. And then I'll put one on the other side as well. Now let's find a mouth for her. There are so many good options here. We can make it look like she's trying not to cry. We can make it look like she's reading a really scary story. Or we can even make it look like she's a little bit scared reading the story. I'm going to go with this mouth. And it's important to change the colors so that they go with the character. So I'm going to change the black into something that matches a little better. I can even just use the dark brown of her eyebrows. And I'll change the tongue color and maybe make it a little bit darker. And a little more pink, I think. And there we go. We have a sad or worried little girl reading some kind of troubling book.